Hello everybody, this is Marty from Marty's Moccasins and Things. You can find me on Facebook. If you like this video, hit that like. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to find out as soon as the new one comes out, go ahead and hit the, uh, the little bell and it will give you notifications when I post a new video. This is our next video in the uh, Stones with No Holes series, and we are going to do an oval today, another beautiful rainbow or quartz. This one's nice and bright. We're going to do another different type of wrap. We're going to need... Uh, I'm going to use 18 gauge silver wire and 20 gauge silver wire. You can do it on 20 and 20, or you can do it on 20 and any smaller diameter. But today we're going to do a frame, and then we're going to do our design. around the frame or using the frame to hold the design to the stone. I'm going to use about 18 inches of 18 gauge silver wire for my frame. And basically to make a frame you're going to do what we always do first and make our get our bales situated here. I have bail making videos. If you scroll through my video list, that will show you exactly what I'm doing here and how to make it work and different variations of the bail. So there we've got a nice little round circle. We're gonna do a couple of twists here to lock it in. Get it situated where we need it so that you've got a couple of twists there. So it's going nowhere. It's stuck there. So now, to make a frame, we want the back of the stone. And we're basically going to take these two pieces of wire. And we're going to go and shape it. So that it is a little smaller than our stone. So that it can't be seen from the front. Do the same thing to the other side. Your frame doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be on the back. Like I said, you want it smaller than the stone that you're working with. Couple of twists at the bottom, and there's what our frame is going to look like. And we're just going to attach the other wires to this frame that will hold the frame to the stone and hold the wire design that you're going to do on the front. So just bend that over like that, flatten it out a little bit. So that you're now you're looking at something like this. And I obviously took more wire than I needed. Can't really see that, can you? Let's get my shadows out of the way. There, your frame's going to sit there like that. See, it's all inside the stone. There we go. So that it can't be seen from the front. And you can take and just run this back up to the bale like that. Or you can do something like this and give it a little extra brace in the middle so it doesn't pull apart on you as easily. And then bring it up to the top. All I'm doing is 
is just running this into the wire outside the frame and then back inside the frame and then just tighten it down this will do two things for you one it will help strengthen your frame when I get done mangling my wire here just straighten it out easy as we go go like this give it another couple of twists bend it down both wires on the same side of my bale so now see the bale it's not going it's not going to squish in or the bale the uh, frame's not going to squish in not going to squish out it's going to sit on there nicely and it's going to give you plenty that's the one thing it's going to do for you gives your frame a little more sturdiness the other thing it's going to do for you is you have extra wires for you to use to lock down the wires that you're going to use in the front. Now I'm just going to do that because we also have to remember that we have other wires coming our way. So I'm going to do this, get the bale started, and then we're just going to clip them off because we will finish the bale scarfing it out with our other wires. I just cut them off there so you got something like that and then you're just going to squish them down. We will be covering up the short points with the other wire. So they just need to be not sticking out. You don't have to worry about them poking anybody or anything at this point. So now we have our frame. Which way do I want to go? Push this down a little flatter. I'm just feeling to see, make sure that there's nothing when they go to wear it. We're going to put this bad boy like this. Again, we have to decide not to throw our tools around. We have to decide where what we want for the top, which part of the stone, and now I'm upside down. There we go. Sorry about that. Things happen. Okay, so we have to decide which way we want the stone to be, which way we want the top, and I'm wanting the purple on top, I think. And then we're just gonna lay our frame like that. And this is what we're gonna looking at from the front. See, you can't see the frame anywhere around the stone. And there it is on the back. We're going to try and keep that as centered as possible, but it's not imperative. So there is our frame. Now I'm going to take, oh, uh, we'll do two feet of 20 gauge silver. And that's what we're going to do our design with. You can start your design anywhere you want, really, because of the extra wires that we put across there as braces. But I am going to start at the bottom because that'll be easier and we'll just wind up on the top. So I'm just going to put one leg of wire through there, the other leg through there, and we're just going to pull it down. Try and keep it even so you get the same amount of wire. Just pull it down, and now our wire is connected to our frame. Just as easy as that. Oops, sorry. It's in there, it's not going anywhere. Frame goes there. And we are ready to do whatever we want to do 
with our wire in the front. And the great thing about this is, is you don't have to worry about locking in the stone because it's going to lock in by itself. That's my problem. <laughs> I've got 18 gauge wire instead of 20. I haven't done anything yet, so I'll save that 18 gauge for some rings later. And we'll do 20 this time. <laughs> 18 gauge is a little little harder to uh, bend and the, the designs are harder to flow on smaller stones. I'm still beating everything up. So, now that we have the correct gauge of wire that I want to use, now we'll do the same thing we were doing a second ago. Just run the legs through there. to the ends and kind of pull it down in here and lock it in pretty tight. If you want to, you can. If you want to, you can do a twist there and lock it in even tighter, but I'm not going to worry about that. It's not going anywhere. We want purple on top. I'm just going to bring this up and then you just do whatever design you want to do. using this particular technique because an oval stone is a bit hard. I mean there's real I mean there's no corner whatsoever. The only thing harder than this oval stone would be a, a round stone. I gotta get it sitting where I want it. There we go. Get my wires arranged the way I want it so they're not crossing over each other. And then I'll make my first design, which I think is going to be a nice little spiral down here. spiral. We started by going that direction. Get the stone back over here so we got orientation for us here. There we go. Now I've got my spiral and I'm just going to pop over here and run around the back. Again, like our last stone. Just going to leave that where we want it. There we go. Now, what I want to do is run the legs of my wire, being gentle and careful, and run it under our frame. not to hurt the design. That is not both going through the same hole, which would be okay, but 
makes it a little more difficult to just slide it through. There we go. Now before you do anything else, you want to make sure that your stone is back in there. We want purple at the top. You want to make sure our frame isn't going to be seen. We want to squish everything down. And then we just want to pull like this. Now, it's hooked to the frame, so it's not going anywhere. So now we need to make another. Let me see. That's kind of a cool little druzy thing there. So I'm going to go here. And make myself another spiral. else we want to pop our stone back in here we're getting ready to lock it in so you gotta make sure that this frame isn't being seen on this side and it's not being seen on that side and then we're just gonna fold that down and bring this around back again not liking how this corner of the stone looks like it could just pop out. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and slide it through our frame here. We are now attached to our frame in two different places. So it's not that big of a deal to make sure that you attach anything more to the frame. Hold on to that. Come on. There we go. Make sure you put your stone back in there and make sure everything fits where it's supposed to. We want it purple on top. There we go. Before you pull it down tight, you want to make sure that your wires didn't get crossed, which mine did. So let's uncross them here, like so. There we go. So we've got it like that and like that, and we're going to come down here. <laughs> just positioning my stone. We can tighten all that down here in just a minute. But what we want to do now is come over here. And I am going to run this up this corner. And we are just going to do a nice little swirl, swirl, wave. We'll do a nice little wave and bring it around and start our scarf. Making sure that we covered up the ends. See that one's still sticking out. Didn't quite cover that one. So we're going to just back up a little bit here. back up a little more. Here we go. Hook it under those wires. There we go. Now I've got them mangled, so I have to unmangle them. That's why I keep getting out of the way. I had it 
zoomed in a little too close. Okay, so right now this is what we're looking at. The stone is in there, it's going nowhere. We've got our designs made. We want our bale to be kind of at the top. We're going to bring these down a little bit more. And spread our little, now it looks like a little stream running through there. And now we're going to continue our scarf, making sure this time that we cover up both of the ends of that other wire. We're trying to climb on top of each other. And there we go. All right. So here's basically what we're looking at. We're going to turn that a little bit. We'll be tightening things up here in a minute. I'm just taking a look and making sure that I'm happy with everything I've got going on. Yeah, I probably could have put that under instead of over. It's obviously not centered on the back. But as long as it can't be seen from the front, again, doesn't have to be perfect. And we might be able to adjust that a little bit as well. All right, everything's looking pretty good. I think we could use one more spiral. If I've got enough wire here, I think I do. Actually, let's do this. This wire is a little longer, so we're going to continue our scarfing. Get it up here like so. There should be enough of a bowl there to fit that. We're just going to squish the end around here a little bit. down in that bowl just enough it looks like maybe there we go good deal now the reason I left this wire out here is because that neck is a little not great I needed around another six inches of wire probably to make it perfect but the great thing about this is We've got these two swirls going here. We'll just add a swirl to cover up that long neck. Start it with my round nose. And just on the very tip end. And we're rolling under. So you got something like that. And you can just take these, just sort of work it around. Make sure the sharp edge is definitely gone. Keep it flat. You can move the pliers or you can move the wire. It's completely up to you. Sometimes it's easier to move it with the wire. Sometimes it's easier to move it with the pliers. Just keep folding it in, rolling it in, making sure everything's staying flat. Nothing's getting on top of each other. And you just roll it into place. Just go a little bit more, I think. And there we go. Now that neck is completely hidden. 
our stone is situated properly. And then we're going to go back here and we're going to do a couple of tightening moves. I said I should have put that inside. We'll just crimp it down. Crimp it down. See how that drew that back closer to the stone. Stone is still where we want it. Everything's looking good. Stone is trapped. Design is made. And we can even bend the frame a little right here to pull that in tighter. There we go. And you just have to make sure everything's laying down. Sorry. I get excited. Especially when something works. And this, I think, is working. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks all right. I'd like to move these wires just a little. Well, not move them. I want to give them a bit of a curve. There we go. Design is stable. There is our whole piece. There's the back. As you can see the frame, I was able to hook to it to make sure that all of the wires stayed put. And that is our oval. Using a frame. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.